What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the finale of the Prism Advent of Thrones Goliath Gauntlet. I am Bill, and joining me today, as for the last three games, is Elliot. It's me. Elliot's from the Spike Feeders, did you know? So are you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so this is going to be the finale. This is the fourth game of the series. Uh, I have been playing Prism Advent of Thrones, which, as mentioned in the previous games, is the new Prism that we just got in Dusk Till Dawn. Uh, so far, I'm actually really liking how this deck plays. Uh, it's a very interesting playstyle, especially in Blitz. Um, and having access to the old Luminaris uh, has been proving quite good. Um, so the idea behind this deck really is to leverage the power of just attacking with Heralds um, in order to get figments out of your deck and sort of get the value from them uh, in addition to the stuff you're already doing. Um, and then awakening those figments into powerful angels that allow you to attack even harder. Uh, and yeah, so far it's been really cool. Uh, my weapon, as mentioned, is the old Luminaris, uh, giving your illusionist auras um, the ability to be weapons and then also giving your illusionist attacks go again. Who knew? It's just really, it's really good. Who knew? Yeah. Who? Everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody knew. Damn. <laughs> and then for my equipment, I'm running Crown of Providence. Crown of Providence. Uh, it blocks for two. It helps you fix your hand. Uh, it's just really good. Mm -hmm. It's a good card. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I'm also playing Empyrean Rapture, which works really well with Prism's ability to make her ability free and allow you to uh, potentially flip some uh, figments into the angel form right as soon as you get them, uh, which can be quite good uh, to continue uh, applying pressure. I also have Null Rune Gloves uh, because of my opponent. Uh, you're going to be dealing some amount of arcane damage to me, so this is probably, it's probably in my best interest to have a way to prevent that. Uh, and then Phantasmal Footsteps, just because it's a good, it's a good card. Good stuff. Good. 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 Speaking of good. Uh, yeah, me, good. <laughs> I'm chained today. Uh, you know, thought it'd be good for the finale, light versus shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cool. Uh, Chain is a cool guy. He gets to play this cool weapon, Rosetta Thorn. That is, uh, better? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Different, uh, but yeah. uh, on the same level of broken. Yes. Uh, for sure. Yeah. As uh, Luminaris there. Uh, I also have the Crown of Providence on my head. Uh, yeah, it's a good card. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. I'm hoping this one comes into play today. I've got the Carrion Husk on my chest. I'm going to block one of your attacks for six, hopefully. Uh, I've also got Grasp of the Arknight. Mostly just blocking three extra here. Might make a rune chant. Mm -hmm. um, that ability is sometimes relevant. And then I've got the Spellbound Creepers on my toes. Yeah. Uh, what, did, what does that card do? Yep, sure does. <laughs> And you better believe it. <laughs> and I've always said that. And I've always said that. And I stand by it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I did win the die roll. So Sucks. I will be going first. But good luck to you and have fun. To you. To me? To you. Sheesh. Yeah. Let's do some cool setup and have some fun with this game today. Uh-oh. You, you, you like that? You, nope. like, you like having fun with good times? Not with Bill. Dang, true. Let us attack you. With this Herald of Protection, pitching this Parable of Humility coming in for six with Go again. All right. Uh, six is a big number on the first turn of the game, and it's probably going to be additional, depending on the cards in your hand. But I'm a Rune Blade, mm -hmm. so it's a little awkward. Mm -hmm. I'm going to block with three cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. That is relevant and acceptable. You have done it. I'm gonna follow that up just by playing out this Passing Mirage, which will make my first Illusionist attack each turn lose and prevent them from gaining Phantasm. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna to move to the end of my turn, arsenaling this card, passing to you. Okay, well that did not go as poorly for me as it could have. Oh, I almost put this Passing Mirage right in the discard. Oh, please do. That would have been- Please do that. Very silly. <laughs> Uh, I will draw three cards. Yes. I'm going to start things off by pitching this Invert Existence uh, for three resources, using two of them to make a rune chant uh, with this Grasp of the Arknight. Okay. Then I would like to play a Plunder Run. Uh, the next time an attack action card I control hits, draw a card. Then I would like to activate Chain and play this Shadow of Urser, not banishing a card to attack you for two and one arcane. Two and one arcane. Uh-huh, with this plunder run ability floating. Uh, I'll, I'll just take the rune jam damage, go to 15. Then I will declare no blocks on Shadow of Urser. Do you have any reactions? I do not. 
I would like to ask you if that is all you've got. It is. Okay. So because this is blocking an attack with two or less power, I will draw a card when the combat chain closes. Tough. That's mm. tough for me. Mm -hmm. And then, because that had go again from the Soul Shackle, I will attack you with this Rosetta Thorn uh, for two and two. Two and two. Two and two. Two and two. Two additionally two. I'm just going to take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Please go to 11. I will. Unfortunately, that is not an attack action card, so I don't draw a card off of the Plunder Run ability. Yes, but I draw a card off of that all you got. Tough. I will arsenal the last card in my hand and say go ahead. All right, Elliot. Are you ready to be attacked? I hope so. Personally and professionally? Yes. Uh, I'd like to attack you with this Wartoon Herald pitching this Genesis. So I'll have one resource floating, and this will be coming in for seven without Phantasm, but with go again. Okay, and if it hits, goes into your soul prism stuff. Yes. Well, this attack for seven would put me to 13. Mm. So I'm gonna block with this Carrion Husk. Relevant. I'm probably getting attacked some more, but I, I think I'm gonna get greedy and I'm gonna block just with this grasp as well. So for eight total. Okay, that's acceptable. Thanks. I've, I've accepted this. Well, because that did have go again, uh, I will be following it up with this Herald of Protection, pitching the sink below in order to pay uh, the two for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is coming in again for seven, uh, with Phantasm this time, and with Go Again from Genesis. Okay, and what happens when this one? Uh, it goes into my soul and I get a Spectral Shield. Oh, and that's, then That's better than this one. Yes. And then Prism Stuff. Tough. I have to say no blocks on this one. I will take seven. Okie dokie. So that'll do a couple of things. I'm going to be putting this into my soul, which gets me a Spectral Shield, and then also triggers Prism. Mm -hmm. Off of Prism's ability, the figment I'm going to find is a figment of protection, which will allow me to get a second Spectral Shield. Great. Then, because the Herald of Attack had go again, I would like to attack with Passing Mirage for one. Take one. Then again with Spectral Shield. Yep. And then the second Spectral Shield. I will be at 10. Thank you. I will then move to the end of my turn, arsenal this last card in my hand, and pass over to you. All right. My Carrion Husk will get banished, uh, and my Grasp will have a Battle War encounter. Beginning of my action phase, I'm going to banish to the Shackle. Mm -hmm. It will be a belittle. I've got another Shadow Aversor to start my turn off. Okay. This one is a little better, though, because I am going to be banishing this Bounding Demagon mm -hmm. to it to give it go again, mm -hmm. uh, and then it's an attack for two. Okay. I'm just going to declare a block for two with this Pierce Reality. Okay. I'm going to break the combat chain. Okay. To play this Plunder Run from my arsenal. That means that it has the Plunder Run ability where if it, my next attack hits, I draw a card, but also it'll give my next attack plus three. Three is a big number. Yeah. Make a second shackle. Yes. <laughs> I would like to have go again here. Absolutely. Bounding Demagon from Banish, so it gets plus one from its own ability and plus three from the Plunder Run for a total of seven on hit, draw a card. Seven on hit, draw a card. With go again. With what he said. Okay, I will block with this Shimmers of Silver from my hand, and I would like to move to Reactions. Mm -hmm. I would like to Sonk Blanc. Yep. Putting this card down here. Okay. Drawing. And then uh, with one of these Spectral Shields, that would be a total of seven. Unfortunate for me. Mm. I will follow that up by breaking the combat chain again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pitching this blue Minnowism for two, sorry, three resources, using two of them to make a rune chant, mm -hmm. and then using the final one to attack with this Rosetta Thorn for two, two, and the one rune chant. I think I am just going to be taking the four total, uh, these cancel each other out, mm -hmm. and then I take four. Okay. What a seven. I will move to the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Arsenal the last card in my hand, take one blood debt from my carrion husk, and then draw four cards. I'm going to just smack in with this uh, yellow Wartoon Herald for six without go again. Apologies, it also does not have Phantasm. Oh, very good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would like to block one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been blocked. Okay. So uh, that'll just end my turn right there. My crown will not uh, be 
it, it won't crowning. It well, won't be be crun. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah, that is gross. This I will agree. get a battle worn, and I will go to the beginning of my action phase. Big money, no whammies. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tragic. Yeah, that's unfortunately a little tragic. Uh, Art of War, Soul Reaping, down mm -hmm. for those that weren't looking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first thing that I must do is I must Soul Shackle. That's to give my next rune blade or shadow action this turn go again. Mm -hmm. Then I've got a blue minnowism to give my next attack action with three or less base power plus one. Yes. That will be a rift bind, uh, which I am pitching this blue vexing malice for. So I'll have two resources floating. This is an attack for four. I will block for three with this Warching Herald and take Uno damage. Please take Uno damage. Yeah. Uh, Uno. What was that number? Four? Oh, interesting. I'd like to break the combat chain. Oh, dang. Uh, to present to you four. <laughs> Ugh. Do you like that I said four and then put three? <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That was good. And I will like to break them with this Rosetta Thorn. So it is for two, two, and four. Two, two, and four is eight. Uh-huh. It's a lot. Uh-huh. I'm going to pitch a blue and a red Wartoon Herald to Arcane Barrier four. Okay. And take four, going to two. Okay. Yeah. That's, I, I think, the best that I could hope for here. I will move to the end of my turn, take one off of the Carrion Husk Blood Debt, and draw four cards. I'm just gonna play out this Pierce Reality and pass to you. Alrighty then. Big money for real this time though. Banishing three. No, it's not happening. Dang Bounding it. Demagon Dang Red. Dang it. Shadow Puppetry. Okay. Shadow Puppetry? <sighs> that happened against Jay too. The Shadow <laughs> Puppetries are clinging to each other. They don't like you. <laughs> Sucks. Okay, well we got a Bounding Demagon to attack with. I'm going to get exceedingly greedy here okay. in an attempt. That attempt is going to be playing this Art of War. So I will pitch this ghostly visit for it. Uh huh. The Art of War modes are going to be the next attack action card I play this turn gains go again. Okay. And I may banish an attack action card from my hand if I do draw two cards. Okay. I will banish this ghostly visit. Is there any way I can change your mind? You cannot. Dang. I would like to draw two real good ones, yeah. hopefully. I'm so good, Bill. Oh, no. Bill, I'm so good. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, so. Oh, no, that's bad for me. We maybe, we maybe get somewhere now <laughs> instead of just being dead. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. It's going to waste my Art of War thing, but, you know, we couldn't know what I was going to draw, yeah. and I thought that was the best option. It is a belittle. Uh, I will pitch this red unhallowed rights to cast it. And I will reveal this yellow bounding demagon in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will search my deck for a card named Minnowism, put it into my hand, then shuffle my deck. That's pretty bad for me. Off of this belittle, I will be putting a red Minnowism into my hand. Yeah, that's quite bad for me. Mm -hmm. like pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty bad for me. I'm just gonna block this with the Crown of Providence, and I'm gonna sink this card down to the bottom. Sounds good. Replace it with this. It's better. Surprising potentially no one, potentially everyone, mm. I will be breaking the combat chain. No way. To play this Minnowism. It's a red one to give my next uh, attack action card with three or less base plus three. So I know I asked this before. Is there any way I can change your mind? Nope. Dang. Uh, the next thing that I'll do is make another Soul Shackle mm -hmm. and then attack you with this Bounding Demagon from my uh, Banish Zone. Because I have played a non-attack, uh, it will give itself plus one and then this will give it plus three. So it is for a total of seven with go again from the soul shackle. I'm gonna activate prisms once per turn instant. Oh. I'm gonna pitch this parable of humility to flip this figment of protection into Aegis. I am then going to block with this phantasmal symbiosis from my hand and I will declare no further blocks. Okay, so, so a block for three and then ward four. And ward four. Seems good. I am following it up with a pitch of this uh, yellow bounding demagon, uh, one resource floating to attack with the Rosetta Thorn 
for two and two. Yes, that is bad. I'm going to be pitching my Shimmers of Silver uh, to activate the once per turn in instant ability of my Empyrean Rapture to give it Ward 1. I'm going to be paying 1 to Arcane Barrier 1 first, and then Ward 1 is going to trigger. It's going to deal with both of the uh, Arcane damage. Then I'm going to be blocking with Phantasmal Footsteps and paying for it to take 1 damage. Okay. And go to 1. <laughs> okay. You... May, I think, because I don't know if you cheated or not. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that I could obviously attack with this ghostly visit. Unfortunately, I cannot, which means I have to take blood debt from it and the carrion husk down to six myself. Ooh. Yeah. I also had to, to activate prism, I had to banish this herald of protection from my soul. Ah. So I no longer have that. Okay, That's I'm drawn hard. four. I would like to attack you for one with this pierce reality. Yeah, yeah, I'll take one. I'm going to arsenal this and pass the turn. Okay, let's see what we got, shall we? We're exiling, or banishing, sorry, four cards four this time. Four cards. We've got a Vexing Malice. Okay. We've got okay. a Bullet. We've got All a right. Minoism. And we've got a Yellow Bounding Demigod. <sighs> Even the one hit there is bad for me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like not that bad, but you know, who am, I, who am I to judge? I think it's pretty bad, I'm at one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, <laughs> let's see what I can do here then. Play this Howl from Riond. Uh, pitching this blue vexing malice. Play this howl umbreon. Howl boom be bomb. <laughs> I will have one floating because it's a blue vexing malice. So uh -huh. my next attack action card will get plus three. Uh -huh. And this has go again. Uh -huh. Then I will make another soul shackle to give my next rune blade or shadow action this turn go again. Mm -hmm. Which I guess I could have done before this. It does the same thing, but you, you get the point. I do. I'm going to attack you with this ghostly visit from my banish zone for a total of seven with go again from the soul shackle. Well, I'm going to block with my phantasmal footsteps, paying the one with this figment of erudition to give it one block this turn, and then block for six from hand with these two heralds okay. for a total of seven. My follow-up is gonna be, I think, good enough based on the fact that you've got uh, just your null rune gloves. I'm gonna come in with this Rosetta Thorn for two and two. Okay. Well, before the arcane damage, mm -hmm. I'm going to pay one into my Null Rune Gloves. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take one damage, mm -hmm. uh, one arcane damage specifically. Okay. So I'm going to go to zero. Okay. But then I'm going to block with this passing rush. Oh, that's really block good. The physical. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Wait. Um, ah, shucks. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I'm at zero. Dang. Yeah. No, so, I don't have anything there. <laughs> Halfway through the last turn, I looked at these and I was like, oh yeah, these have text on them. <laughs> because they're <laughs> Only so sometimes. Yeah, they're so complicated <laughs> that I refuse to learn how they work, which was definitely a detriment to me in this match. I think there was definitely something I could have done last turn that would have been better. And also I think this turn, if I did it, I can play I can also play this bounding mm. demigon, right? Yeah, you could have had uh, multiple things. Right, and yeah. an extra instance of go again or Whatever. Yeah, another action <sighs> point off of uh, Spellbound Creepers shenanigans. Yeah. It's just, it's like a, something that we joke about every time Spellbound Creepers comes up is just, you could say, like you could read the card off to somebody and then just like add additional effects in there. And I don't think anybody would question you. Yeah, I tell Jay it every time we played the Vincent Gauntlet. I was like, you can tell me those do whatever. And you know, he never took advantage of that. He never that's, lied to me about them. Yeah, that's just a, a, a new a new player mistake. Yeah. A skill difference. In incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so that was another great game, honestly. That was that was really good, down to the wire. Um, you had some unfortunate blood debt banishes, but um, it still was enough to get you there. You really only needed the one to continue putting on uh, additional pressure. So. Yeah, and uh, for those that have watched the last couple uh, gauntlets, uh, the two with me and Jay in them, mm. Uh, most recently, uh, my chain hits have been really good. <laughs> so, you know, we got to have some not so good ones uh, now yeah. and then too. The double shadow puppetry yeah. <laughs> twice in a row, I guess peek behind the camera. These are this and the last Jay gauntlet were both filmed same day. Yeah. Like, did I shuffle wrong or something? They were just hugging each other the entire yeah. time. That you sucks. Just, you, you can't separate what God himself has joined. I wanted to cast them <laughs> so badly. 
<laughs> but I could not. Anyway, this was uh, another peek behind the curtain. My, my first uh, opportunity to actually play this new deck. Yeah, what did you think? I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, it's less toolboxy than I was anticipating it would be. Mm -hmm. um, because realistically, this list that I, I got from the just the main Flesh and Blood Discord um, only has four of the figments. Um, and the four that it picked are actually quite good. So like, that isn't even to say that you're only playing four of, there are only eight total that you can play with and they're all legendary. So um, yeah, so you don't play the maximum of them, which I think does make sense because they kind of feel bad to have in your hand. Sure. Um, like playing them is something you don't want to do. You can use them to pay for stuff, which is totally fine. I think that's reasonable, but most of the time, the most value you're getting is when you're uh, getting a Herald out there. Um, there are only, well, I guess only 12 Heralds in the deck. Uh, there's two Herald of Erudition, four Herald of Protection, and then the full complement of uh, War Tunes, um, which felt pretty good as well. I felt like I had at least one Herald every turn um, yeah. to be able to do stuff. So, And um, red War Tunes are for yeah. seven? Yeah. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, they've always been for seven. And that's the, the secret. The Herald of Erudition's have Dominate? Uh, that is, and too much? Yeah, but no, that with like Pierce Reality, uh, to oh. be able to give them plus two... Um, like it just it felt really solid and the the fact that i had game into aggro decks and into um bravo mm -hmm. was just kind of interesting because every other time i've played prism it's just been like an auto lose to to big attack decks yeah guardian and it was like it was definitely a tough game and i did end up losing but it was closer than i would have anticipated by like a lot <laughs> it was way closer than i anticipated <laughs> even until the very last turn yeah, yeah so yeah. so I don't know. I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. I might have to give this one just more of a shot and mm -hmm. play it a little bit more frequently. Um, the CC version, obviously, it doesn't translate quite as well because you don't have access to Luminaris, but um, but in Blitz, the deck feels pretty sweet. So Yeah, felt very threatening. Every time you attacked me with the first one, I was like, why does it have go again? Because <laughs> it's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, yeah. right? Like, if I don't lock the first one, you get to set up your figments, and it goes in your soul, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. If I do, you just attack with the second one, also for seven. And yeah, like... also for seven, also with go again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was uh, a lot of fun, and once again, thank you for joining me for this fantastic gauntlet. And thank you for joining us for this fantastic gauntlet. Yeah, you specifically, you, the individual, yeah. You're you're very appreciated here. Thank you for your uh, support. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, stay well and stay safe, and we will catch you in the next gauntlet. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.